Damn it. I, I thought I saw a shadow go by, but it was those ships. But just as that thing made the, like, Eah! noise, I thought for a second there was, like, a giant condor thing that just flew by, and I was like, <gasps> but no. Why are the birds in this game so small? I'm really curious about that, actually. Does the speed glitch still work? Yeah, I've been using it this entire time. All right, well, seeing as my inventory is full, let's get rid of some things. Uh, I'll get rid of the magnet gold. I don't know what star bulb is. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. That's one of the other reasons why I'm still here. Um, star bulbs might actually be kind of helpful here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the mordite. I can farm that stuff. I'm gonna hold on to the marrow bulbs. I guess I could actually move like a. I guess I could move a bunch of this into my ship. Because it's got space to spare. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this gold. Any creatures in the caves? I've noticed that the spawn rates for creatures in caves are... Um, non-existent for the most part. Like, I try and keep my, um, my camera pointed down. We can check, seeing as we're at the mouth of one. But if I get into this cave, we're not really going to have a whole lot of... Eh. I don't know if that's in the cave or not, though. That's one of the problems. Uh, let's see, I can just... Charge this from here. Probably shouldn't have used carbon in retrospect. This needs auto mining and player drones. It does actually have auto mining. I just don't use it. Player drones could be kind of neat though. Huh. I think there's a uh, hostile critter like just above the surface here. Yeah, there are some, uh, some critters that are sort of deep down looking. But I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, see, they, they look like they're deep down, but I think they're just in this crevasse. That's why I don't like bothering with caves. Caves tend to spend a lot of time, like, you spend a lot of time in caves. Just trying to get in and out of them. I guess I'll pop down. This is kind of a neat area. See, stuff like this is what I, I really want to see more of. Oh, God damn it! it was a rock. I was like, what am I scanning? Answer, a rock. Yeah, I give up. This is dumb. Maybe I'll come back. Maybe I won't. Yeah, there is water on this planet, but every single time I, like, go looking for a, uh... Every single time I, like, try and find a critter in it... Nothing. Atmosphere Harvester. That's interesting. I'll have to take a look at, uh, what's required for both... Well, no. It requires a fair bit to make them. Don't know if they're any good. Uh, let's see. Signal Booster. I'm just gonna just build a signal booster just in case they added a new function functionality or something. Drop pod, habitable base, monolith. Let's try a drop pod. I'm gonna need a uh, drop pod anyway. We might as well, uh... We might as well make the most of this situation. Because, like, I'm stuck in this planet for a little while anyway if I want to max it out. I'm just going to fly away and see if I can reset the, the spawn pattern so it gives me something new. Uh, and so if I go drop pod hunting, that should actually work out for me. But yeah, I got a new really fancy ship. I really do wish um, uh, one of the ship stats was actually for uh, speed maneuverability. Because it would be really cool to get like the fastest ship ever. I guess that's what the upgrades are for, but I haven't really found a whole lot of those. Alright. 
Any luck? I guess I gotta kind of wait for them to to spawn in. Because creatures kind of spawn in randomly based on your location. Okay, so we're maxed out there. If I select tech... Somebody said if you select tech and go in here, you might be able to buy it. Maybe not. How do I buy new tech slots? I should be able to, yeah? Because somebody said select it before you go in. But I did, and it... No. Or is it... Before you hit the signal booster? I don't know. Not seeing any new creatures, unfortunately. Uh, you know what, let's see if I can uh, look some of this stuff up. Because supposedly I can just buy technology slots, but I don't know how. Because, yeah, how do I get tech slots for my character? That's it. You should look for an S-Class exotic ship. Yeah, if I can find one that's good. Unfortunately, I've only found, well, mine. Maybe if I do, like, believe it is bugged for previous saves. Oh, uh, it's still buggy on OG saves. Uh, yeah, so I've had a number of people specifically tell me to start over, and I'm like, I'm super against that. I have a maxed out, I mean, I've got a maxed out ship, which I could technically get again. I got a maxed out character slot, though, that that's something I really don't want to do. Okay, they should fix it for 1.32, good. I, I... Uh. This is one thing I really wish uh, Hello Games would do, is actually be a little bit more um, transparent with some of these things. Because I have seen no information on them, like, trying to fix some of these bugs. Well, what do we do? I'm going to fly around and look for a little bit more water, and then if I can't find shit on the next landing spot, I'm just, I'm just going to check out and go elsewhere. I don't even make 48 slot fighters anymore. I've found 48 slot ships, but yeah, I don't know. Because yeah, I could find a replacement ship. In fact, I know I can even cheat in the... I could even cheat in the money to get one. I've... I This game uh, is really easy to mess with with cheat, cheat engine. For the most part, I, I don't do it because it makes me feel a bit... Um, Oh, jeez, ten minutes. Scr scratch that. Why is the starship scanner the... what the fuck? Um... Why is the starship scanner the laziest? Let's head for this. This looks promising. And if this... doesn't have anything, then I give up. Uh... But I I'd love it if they actually, like, had little, uh... little, like, news bits being like, Hey! So this is unintentionally broken, please fix that. I mean, maybe they have, but I haven't seen anything pop up for the news for this game. I guess I can take a look. No Man's Sky. I guess they have 1.31. Oh, so they do actually have a patch, so... Players to crash on galactic map, players experience when obtaining, pinning certain tech, crash when occurs when... Yeah. No. Hopefully they fix it. But yeah, I don't I don't wanna have to uh I don't wanna have to regrind for all of this stuff that I've already grinded for. Cause I've got 
you know, a big freighter. I've got a big ship. I've got a big inventory. And the idea of having to go through that plus all of my milestones is not an attractive prospect, to be totally honest. I'd rather just deal with the mild issues and just hope they fix it, or just uh, mod it in so I've got the problem solved anyway. I mean, it's really not that big of a setback if I've got limited, limited tech slots. I don't know what's up with this planet. It's supposed to have plentiful critters, but whatever those last two are, they are non-existent. I, I give up. I'm just going to go out of here. Because at this point I've spent... Eh, I guess I've only only been on this planet for about an hour, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Might have to turn the AC up. I put on a muscle tee being like, yeah, I'm kind of super warm here. Still wasn't enough. But yeah, I might just hack in my tech slot so I have more. <laughs> Seeing as the game's gonna be broken, I might as well make the most of it. Okay. So what do we got here? Uh, can, can I warp to that? It's Viking, Blueprint Trader. Have I been here before? Do we know if we've been there before? Oh, I can see a black hole in the distance. That's neat. You can also see, like, multiple Atlas stations and stuff, too. Well, where can I even warp to? Because I, I don't think I can go to blue. Yeah, we got we got to get Theta. And I got to get Sigma for the red. Somehow my warp reactor went poof. So can I only go to green systems? Let's see if I can find a green system. Unfortunately, in all of the uh, orangey haze, it's actually kind of hard to spot something that's... Well, green. You green? There we are. Warp reactor tau. Wait, so I've got... I've got a warp reactor. What does my warp reactor do? Okay, so sigma. So, I... I think I got sigma, so I can go... I can go to red. Alright, uh, filter. Oh, interesting. Life form. Conflict. Economy. Wait, did this color code every star? Why can't I warp here? Is is it because I'm too far away? No, I, okay, I can warp here. Cool. Yeah, let's go here. I want to go to a red star. I want to see what they got. How do you change the filters on the map for PC? Uh, arrow keys, so just up and down. Okay, so I can only go to red systems. For some reason, my... my um, my warp reactor blueprint is poof. Well, that's obnoxious, but I'll live. If we're lucky, we can actually find a, a deck station. Ooh, I should probably check red stars. Maybe I can actually, um... I, I might deviate from the story for a bit just to fly around. I might uh, stop at some geck stations just to see if I can get a better warp reactor blueprint. Let's see. So I should... I wonder if my nanites are are counted as... Uh, if it's on my ship. I guess we'll find out. Check the dead planets. Some are crazy. I'd love to. I don't know how to check for them, though. Okay, so... Okay, they are counted. Holy shit. Um, he actually has a decent amount of things for me. I guess let's get the recoil st stabilizer... Does he sell any anything else? No, just these two. Well, is that enough? Is that all we needed? I hope that's all, all we needed. Uh, oh no, it's under log. 
What's he want me to get? I, I guess I'm just supposed to get a couple of them. Um, well, we could get the combat amplifier. It doesn't really do a whole lot of bonus damage, though. Wait, blaze dra javelin drill? A huh. All right, sure. Let's let's uh, pick up the upgrades for the blaze javelin because I think that's a little bit more useful for what I'm doing anyway. Is that it? <laughs> Are we good? Can I can I go? Okay. Are you not a multi? I mean, this is a technology merchant. I'm really confused about my objectives. Look impressed. I guess he just wanted to share his uh, multi-tool with me. Pull rank! Gives me some nanite clusters. I don't think this is a red star. With life forms filter red, Viking. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Set hyperdrives on new ship in tech slots and they don't work. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm having some troubles with that maybe too. All right, let's see what missions we can pick up from this guy. Uh, well, exterminate creatures is always easy and feeds into some of my other stuff. Uh, collect an item, deliver an item, scan minerals, that's always easy. Ooh, and Flora Analyzer Sigma. We might already have that. I don't know. I don't... I also don't care. Let's see. Health Module Sigma. Yeah, there's some actually, like, decent blueprints here. Nanite cluster, sentinels. Because we've already picked that up. I think I've already got deflection enhancement. Well, we might as well pick up the nanite one because we always need more nanites. Let's see. Rock, scan minerals. But we're, we've already we've got, already got a mission for Flora Analyzer Sigma. It's not really worth doing too. I guess it would actually be useful for getting rep with Viking. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Um, bleh. I might actually have to pop back in the ship. I think the uh, the tech merchant that we're supposed to go for is uh, is limited to one specific place, and I have to go there and buy from. Because I just bought like what was it, three techs? Yeah. All right. Oh, you're right. The, this was a, uh, a just yellow star. Okay, so we have to go to this one no matter what. Well, that's fine. I wonder how many of the um, warp text they might have like attached to... They could have actually attached warp blueprints to story mode, now that I'm thinking about it. All right, let's find this blueprint trader. I assume, yeah, he's right there. I was hoping that any Viking would do. It looks like I'm very wrong on that one. I really wish there was a maneuverability stat uh, for ships, because I'd love to pick up, like, the most maneuverable ship ever. It'd actually be really cool if there was, like, uh, some non new uh non-Newtonian ships or whatever. Like, uh, ones that d don't obey inertia at all. It's just purely, like, uh, you can switch around freely. That'd be, that'd be a bit much. What is with this? I don't know, I don't know what's making noises now. Okay, hello, Keish. Dude, let's apologize. He apparently gave me a snack. Thank? Okay, so what's this guy have? Oh, I see. Oh, he sold me the terrain manipulator. Finally, we needed that. 
So that's why we had to come here. Specifically for that one. Oh, well. Uh, well. Oh, there's the Blaze Javelin. There's also the Scatter Blaster. So it's a, it is a shotgun. Oh, that's not that helpful. Blaze Javelin, on the other hand, I think is a lot more useful. Still don't really have the slots for it. But it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up some missions next, and I'm gonna go see if I. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll pick up some missions. So I've actually got like I want to say two, three thousand uh, nanites saved up back at uh, home too. So that might help. I think I will just do nanite farming kind of on and off camera. Let's see, scan minerals always useful. As part of it is, maybe I should actually do these missions and turn them in here. The Viking don't like me that much. But then again, no, we we should probably do this in Gek systems, cause um we need Gek wrap, because I assume whatever whatever blueprints we have for warp drives are going to be a uh, fairly high tier. Scatter Blaster can one-shot Sentinel sometimes. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, ultimately, uh, gun upgrades are kind of silly for me. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna get rid of uh, Rapid Fire Theta. In favor of the Terrain Manipulator, finally! Okay, so let's, let's get back in here. I'm gonna go see if I can find a, a nearby red planet. I assume we're good. We just... Wait, what? Okay. You are not just alone. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There's no need to hurry. Ask who they are. You will find us when the time is right. So the Sentinels, probably. So what, what's it want me to do now? Return to space and contact Apollo. Oh. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to the base that base of yours for a while. Sure. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The installation in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics de delight in espionage. Point out, Apollo is robotic. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were. But this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left. Everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Huh. Ask how this happened. I took my revenge when the time came. That's all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do we activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common, too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, uh, if we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. So it wants me to go home, probably. No? Nope, wants me to go over here, for some reason. I wanna see if there's a new freighter, but I don't see any that I can immediately. We probably have to save one first. Yeah, that's not my planet. I have no idea where, uh, how I'm supposed to set up the proper scanner package, but I guess it's just conveniently located, no matter what. I should probably, uh, scan the planet while we're here. Eh, desert planet. Be cool to be able to see supernovas in No Man's Sky. Yeah, no, it'd be, I, I've always wanted, um, I always wish the black holes were much larger. And that you could see like solar thing uh, anomalies, like full nebulas and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's mostly just isolated pockets of planet, 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 planet. 
which always feels a bit, bit of a shame. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see how many critters there are on this planet. Fauna, numerous. Okay. This might be a place we check out. Uh, let's see, journey. Not journey, discoveries. This planet has numerous species, and there's also a freighter salvage somewhere around here. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Uh, so you got train manipulator, bolt caster, mining beam. Do bolt caster. Okay, so we, we got a lot of little uh, things. Apparently there's a freighter crash somewhere around here that we want to go check out. But for now, we want to figure out how to get inside this thing. Somewhere around... Oh, the, it's right there. Ooh, a lot of sentinels. I guess I'll just pick fights with them first. Music's different. I don't think I've heard this song before. I actually kind of want to listen to it. Multiplayer in No Man's Sky was a bold lie. The interesting point is they actually never claimed. They never once claimed that there was direct multiplayer. Sean always, um, always danced around the question, for better or worse. However, I gotta give them credit. They've actually been putting it in the game. Like, if you ever go back to those, uh, if you ever go back to those interviews, he was, like, cagey as shit. He never, he never gave a straight answer, period. Which, honestly, I think was, a uh, just about as bad as lying, but everybody, everybody assumed that there was going to be, like, substantive multiplayer, and they never confirmed it. What happens if you get five sentinel alarm things? You just kind of get mobbed, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think Sean Murray was kind of a cool hype man, but I don't think he was a very good PR representative. He really was a developer first. Okay, so boiler unit. Yeah, we're good. Because, yeah, this game would have been actually received much better if people had, uh, if they had properly described kind of what goes on instead of being super vague about it. Because then everybody filled in the blanks with whatever they wanted. Anyway, just... just the terminal's data is useless. The Corvax within this, within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species Philatilla. Something has them worried. Probe factory logs. The place seems to be more than just a factory. It's a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Examine the video feeds. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There's something in here with me. Shine a light on it. I shine a light upon it. It is a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me the creature is gravely ill. It will die, no matter what intervention occurs. Feed the animal. Ten zinc. I feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the zinc and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try and continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. Welp. We made some friends. Okay, there you are. I gotta get that homing module on. I was going to try and operate it without it, but it turns out it's actually kind of useful. Where's the loot box from this thing? I have no idea. Is that enough? I hear noise. Oh, no, those are just those guys. Okay.
Okay, so what are my missions? So, we've got one out of six species. I should probably look around for a bit. It said there were numerous species around here, but I think because of a plot mission, uh, they didn't really spawn. 